Well, welcome back. We'll start with Mesosomaya, the archetypal structure which is in Mexico, which you can see the hexagonal panels. And I won't be replicating it exactly as it is. Uh, so let's begin. For which this we'll need to open work in progress right now. This is actually shot way uh, this shot uh, a while back before Rhino 6 had launched uh, due to which you need work in progress because for that you have the paneling tools which you don't find it in the Rhino 5 Uh, let me just run you in brief the commands that will be required. First is rectangular, then fillet, then you make a loft, then you extrude the curve, then you make a grid surface domain, and then the final is the panel grid custom. These are the basic six commands that you require to make the structure Museo Sumana. So let's begin. Well, now we have filleted, filleted, is filleted the word? Okay, now since we have done our fillet and got the desired fillet that we require, uh, let's just copy it for the base, now for the top. Well, if you see the actual structure, it isn't actually, both the base and the top isn't exactly similar. It is quite different than the modeling, but over here, this is just for the paneling and for your understanding uh, well you can experiment with it okay so now for the paneling for the surface we could even use so this is the surface tool that you see uh, we could use either a blend surface but later on finally we do a loft okay but just let's see what so this is just exploring what can you get with surfaces? You can, yeah, this is your curvature that you could achieve. Like, if you want a different structure which look like this, you could just use a blend surface. Uh, by just wearing the curvature you get the desire but well ours isn't a concave it's a convex and well I did try to get it in a convex but it didn't really work out so the best the best best option that we had and the easiest and the simplest option that I figured out was actually by doing a loft um, but for a loft you would require not just these two curves but you would require an another additional curve a third curve which would cave in uh, which would give it like a path but even if, if you see the actual structure how they have constructed uh, they have used multiple curves to get the curvature well you could do that if you wanted Now let's just loft it and make sure that your loft, uh, the arrow, the directions are pointing in one. The arrows are pointing in one direction. And now you can the style you can select as per, but we basically go for the tight and the style option. Mm -hmm. The tur the curve is basically tight. if you see the loft hasn't actually taken the curves precisely that's because it would be too stiff and that's how it's programmed to give you a curved curvature by adapting 
to the style that we had selected the tight it creates its own curves see you have found it's created its own curve now uh, the curve that is created just create a, let's create a surface for the curve now for the base what we could do is just select the curve and extrude the curve or we could just extrude the surface by extrude surface command So after achieving the desired surface, you need to go for the next command which is point grid surface domain which you just add in the number of uh, points that you require on your surface for your grid. Uh, after this, these are basically just the points and then you have to make a grid separately and then uh, which, is an, which is another command which will be next, uh, which I'll be showing you next. Uh, after which you get the entire grid laid on these points so based on the number of points you can make your grid which could be either larger grids or small grids based on what you require so now this is so as in our structure we require hexagonal uh, panels so over here you just you don't need to draft the hex hexagons separately you just get them in the command uh, okay now now the point panel grid custom is the command that does the trick point panel grid command custom for which first of all we need to make the panels because the grid is already made and now you need to select and then click on your panel and then this panel is then laid on the surface uh, it's taking a little time quite a lot of time and here it go but we haven't achieved what we require because over here you can see the hexagons are overlapping each other which no they aren't overlapping each other but actually it's creating a diamond diamond like shape because of the void the gap the gap in between these four panels uh, and we do not want that diamond shape form in our grid so for which we'll have to make a panel precisely as we require uh, let's just see yeah they are all close yeah we don't have any diamond shape form in between the hexagons Mm -hmm, yeah, they aren't. So for this, just let let uh, we'll make the grid size that we have achieved in the surface and based on that grid the one square grid that we will place our panels the lines in it to avoid any other form creation that we that's unwanted and we have to place all our hexagons in such a manner that even when they mirror they form one whole hexagon
well and uh, here is our panel ready but let and just let us go ahead with the command point panel grid custom select the surface select the points done click on the surface then click on your lines your panels and here we have a panels created and let's do and click on done and it does take a little while okay so we have these lines which are created at the edge of the square panel which we do not require so we'll have to remove all the unwanted lines again yeah and let's do the command run the command again for that select your points select the surface and then select the curves that to be placed on the points and uh, it does take a little while and 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 here we go we have our panels ready yeah guys please you can find the link below to the sketchup modeling for the similar structure please do like subscribe for more videos thank you